<laughs> hey guys, welcome to Backyard Farmer Crafts. Um, today I just wanted to come on and show you a quick um, project share that I made using wooden spoons. Now these wooden spoons are off of Amazon. Um, they look like this. Um, I guess they're food grade, you know, if you don't do anything to them. I just want to measure them real quick for you. They are about five inches. Okay, so they're small, but they're they're cute. Um, so I received these and uh, I had them for a while. I've had them for a while. I've had them for about a year just trying to figure out what to what to do with them. And then all of a sudden, boom, it came to me in like one night, right? <laughs> so here guys, this is what I did super easy and i also wanted to tell you if you don't have like wooden spoons like that you can get you know like these little itty bitty um um like cocktail size um that you can get in a lot of a lot of you know um different stores um around us these i think i got at a place called steals and deals over here super cheap so you can definitely use something other than than this um and they'll be just as cute so let's go ahead and get into it Okay, so we're not gonna actually make them since I already have, but what this is what I use. So I took some Elmer's glue. You can use any um, like school glue that's gonna dry clear. I put, you know, just dumped it in the cup. Enough that when I went to stick my spoon in, I could coat, and I only coated the tip of the spoon. I don't know if I should have gone further up, maybe with like a little like spillage kind of design there, but all I, I just did the, the tip of the spoon. Um, okay, did that then um, sprinkled it with an extra fine glitter. So I used this one, this came from Target a couple years ago, an extra fine red, and then I had this one by Tulip. Uh, I'm not sure what color it is, but it's really pretty and it's pink and so that. Um, I use the extra fine, I'm sure it would work with other glitters as well. I just chose the two, those are the only two colors that I had in my stash of the extra fine. Um, so after you dip them, then I just put them on some wax paper, let them dry, uh, once dry and make sure not to touch them because if you touch them to see if they're dry, you're going to mess up the glitter impression. Um, and that, so just give them time. I gave them like, I think I gave them overnight. And then the next day I did the mod, the mod podge, same thing. I put it in the cup, um, and then dipped the spoon with the glitter into the cup. Um, and then let that dry. Just keep in mind when you do that with the Mod Podge, what um, I kind of messed up a little bit. If you can see in here, like it's not totally clear because I think I just had too much pooled in there. So just try and let enough of it drip off so that you get a nice smooth um, finish without the, without the white um, haze showing through. Um, and then we just let those dry forever. And then when we were done, we just jazzed them up with a couple of these little bows that I got off Temu, Timu, Temo. And just look how cute they look. Aren't they adorable? And then the red, I just put the burlap, the burlap bow. Now I am struggling um, with what to do up here. I don't know if I should do something. I don't know if I should write something. Um, they're going with a Valentine's swap, so I don't know if I should write maybe Valentine's 2024 with maybe my name on the back. I, I didn't want to I didn't want to write Valentine's Day because if anybody wants to repurpose these in their crafting, they may not want it to say um, Happy Valentine's Day up there. So maybe on the back. I'm, I, I'm not sure, guys. I'm really not sure what to do. But I thought they came out super cute, easy to make. Um, and like I said, even if you don't have these spoons per se, and you can get these on Amazon or, you know, I'm sure we can get, you can get them on Temu too, because my husband found them maybe a tiny bit smaller than these. Um, like I said, you can use these little silver plastic ones. They work just as good and they come out just as pretty. And these, you can actually poke a hole in the top and maybe put a dangle um, on there. I could possibly do that with this too. Um, maybe I could try it on this one just to see how the drill hole will go into this because it's not real 
not real fat, but I needed to, nah, forget it. I mean, it would be too much, too much, too much work and a chance of breaking them. All right, guys, so I just wanted to come on real quick and show you this little project share. I hope that it's something that you can add to your um, crafty world. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next crafting video.